turning after its hugely successful debut last year. I thought we were going to see Mike crumping them for a minute, but that's really not. <laughs> no one can see that. Uh, the Pacific Dance Festival launches an all-new program to showcase the works of the country's most exciting contemporary Pacific dance choreographers. Please welcome to the cafe three of them, Joash Fahutua, Hadley Poesi and Tia Sangapolitelli. Welcome yes, guys. welcome. Uh, Josh, let's start with you. You're known as a king of crump. <laughs> now, for those who maybe don't know what crump is exactly, can you explain to people watching? Uh, yeah, well, crump is just, it's like a street form um, type of dance. It's, uh, it's quite, it's a lot of, um, it's quite physical and it's uh, a lot of power, a lot of um, rawness to it. So, I um, mean, it's come from the streets of LA and, and it's mm. sort of made its way through music videos and now it's quite known now. Yeah. yeah. All nice. Okay, and Hadley, I want to find out from you. You've won gold at the World Hip Hop Championships mm. in Las Vegas. I always get really proud of the Kiwi Cruise when they achieve such an incredible status overseas. Uh, what got you into dancing in the first place? Uh, to be totally honest, it was a little bit of a bet. I'm yeah. a rugby league man myself. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, when I was in high school and they said that they're doing auditions for the uh, dance crew, I thought, oh, I'll give that a go. And yeah. <laughs> now I'm doing it full time, so. Wow, that's exciting. Well. Well. I love it? that <laughs> bet. Whoever laid that bet, <laughs> on. thank you. So they like, watched you on the rugby league field and went, yeah, that'll translate onto the stage just perfectly. Yeah, yeah. It worked out. <laughs> I suppose you've got to have all the moves, don't you? Yeah. Um, now, Tia, you have danced in Paris Go um, Goebbels' crew, and do you, do you take any sort of inspiration from what... I mean, she's done incredibly well, hasn't she? Yeah. Do you take that into your work? Yeah, definitely. I've learned a lot from uh, them and being under her wing. Yeah. And I give big props to them. It's pretty ex extraordinary, isn't it? It is. It's amazing. <laughs> is it hard to get into her crew? Uh... Yes, it would be. <laughs> <laughs> You're being humble, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> it is hard, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, as long as you're driven and you have the passion and you work hard, that's nice. That's sweet. Mm. And that's the whole thing about dance, you know. I mean, not only does it have fantastic messages in it, but it's good for people's confidence and, you know, they get together mm -hmm. with families, which is great. This um, festival sounds great as well. So, Josh, tell us a bit more about your role in this festival. You're doing two shows? Yeah, so I'm part of... Yeah, we're doing two shows um, as part of the uh, men's show because it's a separate men's and the women's show. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so the men's show is called Domato, um, and it's... Um, well, I've just got I've got two pieces within that show, and I'm I'm working with, along aside um, these um, other choreographers, talented choreographers as well, to make the whole Pacific Festival work. Um, so everyone's just chipping in, pretty much having their own shows. Hadley's got his own um, full segment in there, so a bit of more pressure on this guy. But, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so everyone's doing their part, and and um, showing um, it's just a great platform for us, like aspiring and new sort of choreographers coming up. Uh, to show our work and sort of our new ideas and our take on things, really. Exciting. Now, Hadley, you won gold at the Hip Hop Championships in Las Vegas. Yeah. I mean, how on earth do you get there and what's it like when you are there? Well... <laughs> it's all that. It's still, yeah, that's, that's basically how you would sum it up. Um, yeah. we're, the, we're the first team to go over and win gold. Um, so to see where that legacy has gone on and now New Zealand is, is well known up there, um, bringing back multiple gold medals every year. It's, it's mm. awesome to see that it's continued. Mm. Um, but yeah, now with the Pacific Dance Festival, we're taking what we learnt up at the World Champs and trying to tell stories with it now. Okay, and, and your, you know, your actual show mm -hmm. in the Pacific Dance Festival, is it you by yourself? You've got a whole lot of people? So we've got, um, we've got a dance crew yes. uh, that you'd normally see in a competition atmosphere. We, we now operate in the theatre. Nice. We love to tell stories. We love to tell our Pacific stories. Um, so for our show, Nu'u, it's a um, combination of urban and hip-hop movements with Pacific movements, kapahaka, um, trying to really bring a unique New Zealand flavour. Oh, that sounds Brilliant. fantastic. Mm. And Tia, tell us about your show. It's Ava, isn't it? Yes, so Ava means take, mm. uh, and it means multiple things in my piece. Um, when Samoa was colonised, um, but the main influence is me dealing with the loss of my mother mm. um, and it's just me taking the knowledge I learned from my mum into my piece. No mm. doubt dancing has helped in all of your lives, but Tia, you actually take it one step further. You now have a programme available in some schools. How does that work? Will yes. you help other kids? Yes, uh, so I have uh, some projects in South Auckland where I just go into the school, teach them classes and just work with them and it's awesome. And what do you think it gives the students? It gives them, uh, helps with their confidence, mm. that's a biggie for me, um, just seeing them grow from the first class, right. you know, it's, it's an honour for me and it's 
yeah, I love it. I bet, oh, I, I bet. bet. Yeah. It's incredible. Do you guys think that anyone can be dancers of your level, or do you, do you know, is there, do you have to have a natural talent, or if you work hard enough, can you get there? I don't think you need natural talent. I think you just need to work hard. Yeah. If you love it, then. Oh, cool. Go nice. For it. Okay, cool. And this um, this <laughs> dance festival sounds incredible. Obviously, covering a whole lot of different types of dance. Well, with going along and checking it out, is it? Yes, yes they say. Of course. Yeah, especially, <laughs> and especially uh, going and seeing these guys' shows as well. And uh, we're going to actually get a little taste of some of the Pacific Dance Festival <laughs> towards the end of the show. Awesome. Now, the Pacific Dance Festival kicks off on Thursday. And for more details, you can head along to pacificdance.co.nz. Thank you so much for coming in, guys. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thank awesome. You. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>